Donkey Kong. Warranties again is Mac, right? Correct. Great. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's webinar. Busting Refurbished Computer and Electronic Myths. This is an Ask Me Anything AMA style event. So we certainly want to encourage you to ask your questions. Uh, while we uh, wait a few minutes for people to join, uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, let us know where you're tuning in from in the chat. I am here in lovely, sunny and warm Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> It is not sunny and warm. Hello, everybody. See, we have a few attendees. We'll give it a few minutes for people to join. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. Mm -hmm. you're just uh, now tuning in, uh, why don't you go ahead and use the chat button at the bottom. Um, say hello. Let us know where you're from. Deceptively sunny Minneapolis, Lisa, a fellow uh, Midwesterner. Thank you for joining us. It was from Chloe in rainy Portland, Oregon. I'm not sure if I would trade the snow for rain right now. I'm enjoying the snow, if I'm being honest. We'll go ahead and uh, jump right in here. Well, thank you everybody for being with us. Um, as a reminder, this is an AMA event. So we really want to encourage you to ask questions. Uh, you can do so by using the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. Um, we will be going through the questions and asking them as they come up. Um, also, we encourage you to use the chat button, um, say hello, engage with us. You can also ask questions there. And also, if you're interested in closed captioning, we have enabled that for this webinar, and you can do that by enabling it in the button at the bottom of your screen. Um, without further ado, those are the technical um, information that I wanted to tell you all, and I will hand it over to my refurbished hardware expert colleagues, um, Shasta, Matthew, and Kelly. Without further ado, uh, go ahead, Shasta. Hello, welcome so much to this TechSoup webinar. It is always wonderful to have participants that are interested in refurbished hardware, which is one of our cornerstone programs at TechSoup. Um, TechSoup, as many of you will probably already know, services has serviced 1.4 million nonprofits around the world. We, we, for me, one of the main attractions of our nonprofit organization is our uh, refurbished hardware program, which really um, is part of the birth of TechSoup itself. Um, it is such a great choice, refurbished hardware for nonprofit organizations, because it not only helps us to save money, but it helps us to be sustainable. As Rachel Carson once said, uh, something to the effect of, you know, the, the being more than ever before, humanity is being tasked to really connect with the side of us that is nature. Right. And and to really to do that by by not demonstrating mastery over nature, but but mastery over ourselves. My daughter is a big fan of Rachel Carson, and she always reminds me that the choices that we make today will impact generations to come. And I love that today we're going to be talking about refurbished hardware, because as um, the human race, that is one place where we can invest and we can come together to make a tangible difference to our earth. It is really my distinct pleasure to introduce um, Kelly Sullivan. First, a little about me. I run the hardware program and Kelly is one of my endeared colleagues who has really given 
refurbished hardware at TechSoup, her entire life's work. Um, Kelly is, is, inspires me every day because she is just such a, um, you know, steady, I would say, um, uh, champion for refurbished hardware. She's a senior program manager of the TechSoup refurbished hardware program that commenced in 2009, which is when the industry was kind of just beginning. Since taking the reins of the entire program in 2015, Kelly has collaborated with our provider partners for more than triple the distribution of refurbished computers and monitors to eligible nonprofits in the U.S., in addition to leading this multi-million dollar program in the U.S., Kelly collaborates with TechSoup Global Network to help countries establish in-house refurbished hardware programs, benefiting nonprofits across the globe. Kelly serves as a subject matter expert routinely representing TechSoup at conferences and most recently served as a panelist for Selling Devices Online Importance of Quality in Refurbished Devices at the Electronics Reuse Conference. She is deeply passionate about sustainability, reuse, and digital equity. Um, she's a member of the board of Donor Connection and has served as a volunteer for the San Francisco Urban Dharma and Wild Fish Conservancy. Conservancy. Uh, she lives in California with her cat and dog and enjoys creating fluid art for her business poured in Humboldt. So Kelly is just uh, adorable and you will get to know her and enjoy her as much as I do, and extremely talented. Um, I would also like to, at this time, introduce Matt Young, who is a recycling and sustainability entrepreneur, such a joyful partner, um, and, and works from his heart to really feed, uh, feed our earth by feeding this industry. He has spent his entire professional career in recycling, Matt graduated from the University of Maryland in 2010 after already spending two years working at an electronics recycling company. Matt then worked at electronics recyclers of different sizes, large, huge, um, before starting his own e-scrap and refurbishing business, EVR. In 2016, Matt also spent five years processing mattresses at a mattress recycler. So his passion for the earth also spans lots of interesting um, areas. Finally, Matt serves as the secretary on the board of ISRI, uh, ISRI's electronics division and has actively worked on developing ISRI specifications for electronics reuse for several years. So two real solid experts that will share with us all there is to know about um, refurbished hardware. Let me introduce you to our topics. Um, today, we're gonna to talk about the evolution of the refurbished hardware industry, understanding the different categories of hardware, the standards, warranties, customer protection, and navigating what can be sometimes a, a, a little confusing of a marketplace. And then we will end with also sharing some of the future trends in refurbished hardware with you. Matt, would you like to please kick off the evolution in the refurbished hardware industry? And Kelly, you can talk a little bit about our program. Yeah, well, the, the computer refurbishing business really began as a business in the late 90s. It was primarily people coming and taking mainframe computers, which are obviously much bigger than the computers we had and much more expensive than the computers that we have today that could still support the latest and greatest software once they came off lease. And so a nascent industry was kind of founded trying to remarket, reuse, and refurbish those devices. Now, of course, everything is a computer, so the refurbishing industry has evolved to basically your watch, your phone, your refrigerator, your car. And as these different commodities and categories have come refurbishers have come and shown interest in extending the life cycle of these devices. The same time in the early 90s, uh, a lot of people saw that the computers that had been previously purchased had tremendous amounts of value in the circuit boards and other precious metals inside, which was the earliest starting of the computer recycling business, which are at this point are very interrelated. 
Yeah, and um, for TechSoup and how we got involved in this, um, in the early 2000s, um, one of the, the earliest TechSoup employees, Jim Lynch, um, saw a need for um, not only helping uh, organizations get access to low cost technology and devices. Um, he also saw that there were a lot of computers heading towards the landfills and um, he took that opportunity to start the green tech program at TechSoup and um, that afterwards established the refurbished computer initiative, which is now today the refurbished hardware program. Um, and it was really a revolutionary idea um, because there was really no centralized marketplace that had that offered refurbished computers. And um, the program started in the, the mid uh, early 2000s. And, um, and I, as Shasta mentioned, I joined the program in 2009 and have been doing this great work ever since. And um, Today we have a very robust catalog. We have multiple partners, and um, and we are working towards making it better, making this marketplace better and more accessible for everyone. Wonderful! Thank mm -hmm. you, Kelly and Matt, and thank you, and Andrew, for helping us with the slides and for kicking the the webinar off as well. Um, it would be great if we could talk through the different categories of hardware. Um, I know you guys have some good insight and, and how these things are defined. And I think it would be very helpful to folks attending for you to do that. Sure. I can I can run us through the categories, Shasta. So um, there's really about four overlay, four big buckets for um, technology, for computers and, and devices that you might see when you're out there shopping in, the, in any marketplace. Um, and there's the obvious first, which is new. And these are devices that are manufactured by the OEMs, Dell, Lenovo, HP, Apple, et cetera. And um, when you purchase something brand new, you're going to expect that this is going to come in a box, it's going to be wrapped, and it's never going to have been turned on. Um, the second category that you might find, um, and, and you might find it on an OEM site like Apple, for example, is manufacturer recertified or refurbished. And these devices are typically devices that have come that have been sent out to a consumer and it's been opened, maybe they didn't like it, maybe it was the wrong size, maybe it was just the wrong shipment. It's it, Maybe it's been used for a moment, um, but for whatever reason, it got sent back. And I'm sure that everyone here has, has gotten something that they weren't expecting and they've sent it back. And that, that device, instead of going straight into a recycle, um, now is being um, refurbished, it's getting inspected, and it's getting repackaged and sent back out as um, manufacturer recertified or refurbished. Then, um, and those devices also carry manufacturer warranties, um, so they're, they're pretty solid. And then we have the general refurbished category, which is um, where TechSoup falls um, and all of our partners fall into that category. Um, so th those are devices that have been used in uh, mostly in businesses and office settings. They're off-lease devices um, and they are either uh, um, acquired through donation or purchased from refurbishers and the refurbishers um, take them through a series of tests, they clean them, and they will add a new, uh, a new image after they've done the data destruction. They'll put a new uh, software image on, new operating system, and they get sold in various marketplaces or direct to consumer from the refurbisher. And these devices typically they've been they've been well tested they've been cleaned they come 
typically with warranties from the refurbisher. Um, and they can be anywhere from three to seven years old, sometimes older, sometimes newer. And, um, and they're really, you know, they're, they're, when you're out there shopping, um, you, they definitely um, you want to read through the descriptions, but I'll get into that a little bit more later. Um, and then the last category is what we call used, and that's going to be something that you might find on eBay um, from one consumer to you um, or Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. It's typically, um, those are usually consumer level devices, um, something that you've had in your home or a phone, that sort of thing. And they're not gonna come typically with any kind of guarantee or warranty. They're usually going to have um, the previous user's um, license for the operating system, particularly if it's Windows, it's usually registered to that user. Um, and, you may or may not get a box. Um, the used the used market's a little bit more of a, a gamble. So those are the the big buckets. Well, thank you so much for sharing. It's always nice to really kind of define the different pieces. I always find that you know uh, the brand is important here because then you can rely on. Um, on a certain quality standard. And I know Kelly, you will cover this more in a little bit, but I always am happy, uh, Matt, with our providers at TechSoup because you also uh, work really hard to ensure that as a provider that you're protecting the TechSoup brand, which is really always uh, appreciated. So let's go ahead and uh, over to the next slide. Perfect. Um, warranties, consumer protection, this is really a place to pay attention. Um, and Kelly will talk to us about the details. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, TechSoup, as, as Matt mentioned, um, has, um, we have our own warranty. We, we've kind of kicked off, um, we try to press the, the, the trend um, a little bit and bring a better warranty than than industry standard. And right now, this year, we've we've raised our standard warranty up to two years. And um, in the marketplace, you might find a warranty that's anywhere between uh, 30 days and a year, typically. Um, and, um, and TechSoup has really, you know, worked with our our partners and you know EVR included in um, in raising the bar for the industry and and holding um, you know holding each other accountable to make sure that we're bringing great products to the nonprofits that we serve and um, and Matt's going to go a little bit more into you know how they how they work with um, on on preserving the, these low rates. Right now, TechSoup um, has about a 6% uh, return rate for our refurbished hardware and industry, and that's contrasting against industry standard of 11% um, for new uh, consumer electronics. So, you know, that's definitely something to be proud about. Um, Matt, do you wanna talk about how you guys preserve our, our standards? Sure. So, you know, every computer that's going to go through our internal refurbishing process, we evaluate 130 individual points of quality control. So the first thing is that every device is going to be wiped. So the previous owner's information is gone. Sometimes clients have a shred drives and then we'll put in new drives into the devices. Our testing process looks at pretty much everything from the webcam on the top down to the keyboard, making sure all the keys are working, nothing sticky, all the ports on the outside of the computer are working as you would expect them to be able to. We even look at things like the battery and evaluate how many, what's called cycles, how many times that battery has been charged. 
And that's a really strong predictor of will that battery maintain a charge for a couple of hours going forward, or is that a part that needs to be replaced? So a lot of what we're doing is kind of the fixing and the upgrading during the refurbishing process to make sure that they are better than new from a quality perspective when they come out. We also put every computer through an extensive cleaning process, make sure the cosmetics look great. So you can, you know, from 12 inches away, won't see any blemishes, issues on that sort of a device. And a lot of little tricks that you learn over the years and how to make those computers shine when they're coming out of the process. Wonderful. I, it is always to me kind of interesting. One of the things that I I tend to do with our um, some of our corporate par uh, partners, et cetera, is to say that, um, you know, it's not always, uh, refurbished hardware is not always just a, um, there's a cost to offer it. And I just appreciate, Matt, you so much and your commitment so much, because I know that you are personally committed to reducing that cost so that our sector can benefit. And um, it, it, it's really, it, it really comes from more of a commitment to the earth, I think, than uh, the bottom line here. You know, of course you have to, you have to have a profit to, to, to make money, but I see that in your everyday work. And sometimes I compare it to some of the other providers and I think, you know, the more as as all of us here educate folks and say that, look, this is not just we're not looking for things that are not usable. Right. We're looking for things. We're not just trying to make it so you don't have landfill. We're actually trying to create a lot of value for nonprofits that want to um, that are committed to reuse. So I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Um, next, we've got navigating this marketplace. And um, Kelly is a wonderful person to speak with you about that because she does it for TechSoup at large. She really, um, you know, t looks for, is, is very in tune with the market and continuously looks for the best value that she can provide to nonprofits, I cannot tell you how often she does market research and how much, and Matt can attest how much her commitment is to the idea of adding value uh, to nonprofits to refurbish hardware. Um, every time I turn, she's got a new idea, whether it's reducing the return rate by being really conscious about providing the customer care or her favorite word, white glove service or, um, you know, she, yeah, both Matt and I are smiling because we hear we hear her commitment to the nonprofits uh, literally every day that we work with her. You're on mute, Kelly. I do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, definitely, you're you're right about that. I do spend a lot of time in the um, in the web universe looking at computers and um and and the services that others are offering and thinking of ways to um be better you know how can we be better how can we bring the most value and the most bang for your buck because um you know any of our electronic devices are they're mini investments and we want them to come as we expect them to come and we want them to work as we expect them to work. And, and it's extraordinarily frustrating when, when that doesn't happen. And of course it does happen, but you know, when it, when it happens to, to us, it feels personal. And um, so I try to try to make it the best experience possible um, with the understanding that, you know, we're dealing with a, a physical tangible product that can just get damaged on the way to, you know, from, from the refurbisher to you. So um, as far as how I, how I shop, um, because that's really what I'm doing. I'm just shopping in the marketplace to see the, you know, the best thing that, that I can get for the, the best dollar. And um, 
one of the things that I discovered when I started this journey was in the marketplace, you could find dozens of the same exact product and they'd have so many different prices. And it made me wonder like, how is like, why is this happening? And also how do I discern between them? Because there must be a reason that they cost different amounts of money, sometimes hundreds of dollars of difference. And so it made me take a deeper look into um, the product descriptions and the seller descriptions and the seller ratings to really start to understand the nuances between the, the products. And, um, and nowadays, a phone, for example, a smartphone could be a $50 difference just because of the color of the phone and and everything else can be exactly the same. So when you comparison shop, you know, if you're looking at a particular computer or device or a car or anything, really, it's very important to read those descriptions, every last bit of them, and to really understand what your what your warranty is, what your return, you know, for a refund policy is, if you have those options and how long you have um, with each of those. TechSoup, um, our program is a 30 day money back guarantee. Um, if you don't like it, if you got it and you, you know, decided that you didn't really need it after all, as long as it's in 30 days, you can return it. Um, that's a really important um, thing to have really um, when you're buying any kind of electronic out there in the marketplace, um, the option to return it for any reason. Um, and then as far as warranties go, when you're, when you're shopping in marketplaces like Amazon and eBay and, you know, even TechSoup, it can be really you know, hard to know because different devices are going to have different warranties. Um, our phones have a 90 day warranty. Our computers and uh, monitors have a two year warranty. So it's really, really important. I just cannot impress upon you enough how important it is to look at those descriptions and really understand what you're buying and, and to shop with, you know, a trusted platform or a trusted entity and in marketplaces like Amazon and eBay you're you know you're dealing with a lot of different sellers so at that point it's really important to start reading the feedback and what people are saying about their experience with those sellers and you can also if you're buying from a refurbisher direct you can also go on to Google and look them up and look at their Google marketplace ratings and and see what people are saying take the time to do that because you are investing in in something and you want to be able to know that you're going to get what what you're expecting Yeah oh, that's Matt, do you have anything to add on <laughs> Yeah, I think the great part about TechSoup is that it really does a lot of that vetting that Kelly's talking to. You kind of know that you're going to be getting a known entity that's been vetted by such a reputable brand and companies that know they need to keep the brand, you know, as good as it's been for the last 20 plus years. You know, as a refurbisher myself, even five years ago, it was next to impossible to differentiate shopping online between used and refurbished. Um, the programs, you know, TechSoup was truly leading the way on that, having a refurbished marketplace. But five years ago, you couldn't tell the difference on an eBay or something like that between something made by an ISO certified accredited recycler or, you know, somebody who wrote a really good ad sitting out of their basement, you know, packaging that up, not having the resources necessarily to go through and detect that. So I think that it's the amount of options has certainly exploded. Um, and, you know, to Kelly's point, making sure you know what the warranties, looking at the reviews of the sellers when you can, um, even on Mark, on a site like Amazon, you can click in and it's dramatically different feedback on the five person trying to sell that same computer. Um, so can definitely be interesting. 
sometimes. <laughs> it sort of goes back, right, guys, to the heart, I think, of the people that are doing it. And I, I, you know, I'm actually new to TechSoup. Kelly's sort of the veteran of the program and the expert. And I learn from her every day about how, about TechSoup's commitment really to the nonprofit sector broadly, but also to making sure that, you know, we, because we're a nonprofit ourselves, we sort of understand the reality of working with our sector's operating budgets, you know, and we take very seriously uh, both in terms of the value adds, in terms of the standards that we expect from providers like Matt and, and holding everybody accountable because we know that the nonprofit um, reality of every dollar counts so that we can spend our technology dollars responsibly so that we can do our missions efficiently and more effectively. So navigating the marketplace is a really good idea. Of course, I, I work for TechSoup. So I'm going to say just, you know, just go to TechSoup. You're going to you're going to do great. But I do love also the commitment of Kelly and Matt to go through and explain the industry as a whole so that, you know, that's not the case, that you actually leave here knowing, OK, I can purchase from anywhere. And these are the things that I should pay attention to, because in the end, what we want is for the sector to do good, to enhance social impact. So we're going to move on to the future trends in refurbished hardware and how we're going to sort of help to live the Rachel Carson reality. So take it away, Matt. Well, I think as I kind of alluded to earlier, kind of everything is really becoming an electronic. And so the role and the opportunities to buy and use refurbished in our everyday lives is probably growing by the day because, you know, once you get that new refrigerator that now has a chip inside of it, you know, that that's probably not going to end on the next time that you'd go to buy a refrigerator or something like that. Uh, one of the things, though, that's always fascinated me is when you're looking either from like carbon or energy the most intensive part of a piece of electronics life cycle is the manufacturing. So it takes a tremendous amount of energy and resources to be able to turn the raw materials, which you might also have to be mining, you know, out of the ground into a working good computer that's going to be operating. And so one of the things that Shasta was alluding to earlier, when you look at the life cycle of a computer, if someone was originally going to use that for four or five years, and then it was, you know, either going to be recycled, scrapped, or landfilled, God forbid, you know, that computer's life cycle is then over. But by refurbishing that device and maybe getting another three or four usable years out of it, you're basically amortizing or able to divide that second life cycle against the initial costs and energy utilized in manufacturing. So the EPA has put out some really awesome data on this. They have a standard called WARN that talks about the carbon impacts of reusing, recycling, and landfilling devices. And even just on the refurbishing side, a refurbished computer is 20 times better for the environment than had you recycled it to get the metals out and nearly infinitely better than putting it into a landfill where, you know, all of the resources that were used to make that computer are now gone and never going to be utilized again. Yeah. And um, I, I definitely, um, I want to add on that, that refurbished um, devices um, have, you know, in the last five years, two years, three, I mean, it's just been, it's kind of shot through the stratosphere um, and what you can find that's refurbished. It, it's not limited to, um, to computers and tech, you know, computer technology. You can find refurbished tools. You can find refurbished KitchenAid mixers and, and kitchen appliances, small kitchen appliances. Um, it's just, it's become quite remarkable to me, um, 
my um my first Vitamix blender was refurbished and it was from Vitamix direct um, because a, a friend had pointed out to me that, um, you know, it's better than new because somebody has, has taken that and looked it over point by point, like Matt was saying and inspected it from top to bottom. And, um, and so the odds of it having a problem are really slim. So um you know, the, the, the marketplace is really has evolved incredibly in the, in the 15 years that I've been doing this, it's, it's been so extraordinary. And, um, and it does make my heart sing, um, to, to see devices being refurbished and sold back out into the market and, um, you know, how, how much that's helping the environment. So, love it <laughs> yeah you do you do and I I want to just add you know there was a time that we all used to sort of buy appliances or or computers our first computers or our first telephones and they would literally last a lifetime right so we know that um that with a little bit of uh Tinkerbell magic that our devices definitely have those quality features that can last um with that inspection that both of you have discussed so it's it is definitely a, a wonderful wonderful industry and 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 the heart of the industry to support you know another thing that i learned was that a lot of refurbished uh provide the, the, the folks that do the refurbishing folks like matt they really um and it again goes back to the heart and the earth and the heart and it translates often to heart with people um, so they will be capturing people, you know, it might be former prisoners, it might be retooling people. Um, but the idea, we always talk about, you know, uh, creation of jobs as sort of this American responsibility. But what I love about refurbishers is that often um, by buying refurbished uh, electronics, we are supporting second chances of human beings. And I love that about the industry. So, so many great things to love. There are a few questions um, that I would love for you both to address. One is, what categories of hardware does TechSoup sell new refurbished used? Kelly, you want to take that? I sure can. Um, so we, um, we refurbished hardware was the very first um, computer um, hardware program at TechSoup. Um, and the the original uh, hardware program at TechSoup was Cisco, um, which is still going strong. Um, refurbished hardware was, or refurbished computer initiative was the second um, hardware ever at TechSoup. And today we have we have a a breadth of of hardware devices and products, and um, we have. We do offer new um, HP devices, um, laptops, desktops, and um, we also offer new headsets and um, we have mobile beacon um, internet hotspot devices. Um, we have accessories that are new, um, nice keyboards, et cetera. Um, and then we also have um, some manufacturer recertified in the Microsoft Surface category. Um, so you can you can find um, some Surface Pros and some Surface Books in our catalog, and those are um, those are distributed by Cinex and um, for, on behalf of Microsoft. And Microsoft does. Um, the inspection of those and they back the product by a one-year warranty. Um, and I believe that the HP products are also backed by one-year warranty. And then um, we have, of course, the refurbished line of products and um, you can find laptops and desktops and monitors. And, um, and as a matter of fact, right now, um, this week for Cyber Week, we're offering in refurbished hardware, we're offering a 
uh, BOGO deal, um, select desktops. If you purchase a select desktop, you are eligible to get a free um, 19 inch LCD monitor accompanied with that. And um, that lasts through the end of the week, Friday afternoon. And um, yeah, and we recently added um, mobile devices uh, to the lineup. So we're carrying smartphones now and uh, some tablets, some iPads, um, some Chromebooks. Yeah, we, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're <laughs> we are definitely getting there. And um, also right now, um, I just want to add that it was kind of a last minute thing. We are, um, we just had a $90 price drop in um, the Apple iPhone 12. And you can find that on the homepage, um, a link to that on the, the TechSoup homepage. Yeah, lots of goodies for you guys, mm -hmm. not only for you guys in attendance, but, you know, we do rely on you to share this with your nonprofit colleagues at large, not just within your nonprofit, but broadly, because we want to see this program just be used as much as possible for create the awareness of particularly the buy one, get one, which again, I thank, you know, our providers such as Matt to be really committed to the sector to really care about the nonprofits that we serve and our missions. So please spread the news. We could certainly use that. It could be five emails to five friends and that'll make a difference not only to us at TechSoup, but also to the nonprofits that could benefit from the BOGO. Um, and then I we have one person, Kelly, with a very specific question in chat. Maybe you could provide them with a way to contact either you or Chloe. Um, they wanted to get a clarification on a hardware offer. Um, that would be great. Um, and then um, any other questions, please type them into our chat or the QA. I also um, actually want to take the opportunity since we are in a BOGO week, um, to let everybody know a couple of other things. So um, as Shasta mentioned, um, was talking about the, the mobile devices. I, I wanna reiterate that um, the, the special thing about our smartphone offering is that um, the ref our refurbisher partner who's offering the smartphones has opened up those devices um, and those products not only to the nonprofit for use, but also the nonprofit employees for personal use. And um, so, if you need a if you need a new smartphone or a replacement smartphone, or your family member needs one, you can you can purchase those through us, and um, you won't be breaking any rules of you're not allowed to share out. <laughs> technology from TechSoup. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention is um, we are indeed in the BOGO week and um, I wanted to kind of give a shout out to my refurbisher partners um, around that because as Shasta mentioned that they are the ones that are offering these these great deals and um, and we wouldn't be able to do it without them. And with that being said, we offer, we do a BOGO twice a year. The, the next one's going to be in um, April for Earth Day. And um, that'll be the entire week of Earth Day week, which is April 20th. Um, and then we also do two um, month-long rebates. And um, those, the next one will be in March. So for the entire month of March, you can get a 10% rebate off um, uh, select products in the catalog. Um, and this is exclusively for refurbished um, hardware, I, I want to add. Um, and in the month of October, um, so we just closed out one last month, um, a month long 10% rebate as well. And again, we would not be able to offer these, these really great deals without the refurbishers. Um, being a part of that um, 
because you know it's 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 hard to get bargains out there in the refurbished marketplace and um and they've worked so hard at being able to to bring that to the nonprofit sector so thank you matt and all of my other wonderful partners for for helping with that 100 percent glad to do it. it looks like we have a q a is the bogo offer just for smartphones the BOGO offer is actually for desktops, and it's so um, if you go to our website, um, I think that Andrew put a link in, um, see all TechSoup Cyber Week deals here. So we have we have multiple Cyber Week deals. It's not just refurbished hardware, um, but the, um, the BOGO specifically is um, select desktops, and when you go into the catalog, you'll see that they're flagged for the special. Um, those are eligible. And then when you purchase one of those desktops um, or multiples, you'll get a 19 inch LCD monitor, a refurbished one to go along with it free of charge. And um, you'll just need to check your fulfillment emails to make sure that um, what the instructions are and how you get that free monitor. Uh. That's great. Um, anyone else have any final questions? Okay. Well, I will um, close with a big warm thank you to Andrew for making, Andrew Barron, for making the webinar so easy and technology glitch free and um, also wanted to just do a shout out for our um, broad social media team and marketing team, Susan Tenby, Steve Davidson for really working with us and accommodating our desire to share this information with you. And uh, last but certainly not least, Kelly and Matt, thank you so much for sharing your expertise. We're so lucky to have your expertise be part of our organization. And uh, it's just, it, it really, you guys have to get to know these folks to know what a delight and how much heart they truly have. They really live that dream of uh, Rachel Carson. And uh, they really, you know, and it is true, the, 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 what Rachel Carson says, the human race, here's the actual quote, the human race is challenged more than ever before to demonstrate our mastery, not over nature, but of ourselves. And this really, um, Kelly has put me to task and, and Chloe, who's part of the team as well, uh, by being, being uh, examples of purchasing refurbished hardware and encouraging employees, creating programs for us uh, to be able to purchase, and of course, our nonprofits, our beloved, beloved nonprofits. So, thank you for attending, mm -hmm. and we'll see you hopefully on Earth Day. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you, everyone, for for your time. And um, if you hang out for one more second, Andrew is going to put a link in where you can find the recorded version of this webinar AMA. And um, feel free to share it on uh, social media or LinkedIn. Um, maybe a friend can learn something from it that wasn't able to attend today. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, the link will be emailed once it's uploaded to YouTube. There you go. <laughs> All right. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much.